I've been wondering recently how exactly do reflections work. I know I could reflect the LCD image onto the HUD glass at 45 degree angle. That's the most basic stuff. It works pretty well, but it requires the lenses to be at 45 degrees, which makes it look a bit silly. Most AR devices use bird path modules, which consist of two separate reflectors. Using this kind of system has one big advantage. Image displayed is not mirrored. Today I will try to replicate this system with the most basic stuff that I could find at home. I will be using square pieces of the HUD glass as reflectors. Those pieces reflect the image really well but are really dark which might make it difficult to see stuff behind them. I'll put both pieces into the 3D printed cube which will hold them at 45 degree angles to each other. This is what the assembled cube looks like. It's rough looking but it's just a quick test. As you can see, glass already reflects stuff above it. I've dug out this old composite LCD which will be perfect for this test. The quality is really bad, but this time it's not about the image quality. I've attached my Raspberry Pi Zero as basic image source. I've connected the display to the TV out pins of the Pi. Everything works pretty much straight away after connecting the USB cable. Once again, image is really low quality, you can actually count the pixels. I've designed this simple round bracket so that I can attach the magnifying glass. Magnifying glass goes directly on top of the reflector assembly. I've also designed this really simple plastic chimney which will help me eliminate outside light. Chimney goes directly on top of the LCD. The smaller side connects with the magnifying glass. It requires some black electrical tape in order to eliminate as much light as possible. I'll wrap everything in as much tape as I can. This way the LCD light will be trapped inside. The very first test will be done using my regular HUD glass. I think it's 50-50, but I'm not sure. Glass reflects really nice. Image is perfectly visible, but the glass itself makes outside look a bit dark. You might not be able to see what's behind the displayed image. For the second test, I will swap out the diagonal glass for the 4060 one. It's not as reflective as previous one, but it should work. The main issue with this build is that the glass reflects the bottom of the visor as well. This makes the image darker than it should be. Right at the start, you can see that the outside view is way better now. You can clearly see my room and mess that I'm sitting in. Sadly, new diagonal glass makes the displayed image a bit harder to see since it's not as reflective. You can still see it, but not in very bright rooms. For the next test, I will use 4060 reflective pieces for both reflectors. This time, the outside image is perfectly visible, it's not dark at all. Sadly, virtual image is nearly invisible in this configuration. You can still somewhat see it, but only on darker backgrounds. For the final test, I will swap the front reflector for the original 5051. This time I will also use 4060 reflective piece with additional polarizer film for the diagonal reflector. 
The idea is to use polarizer film to limit the light which comes from outside of the visor. This way unnecessary reflections should be limited and the image displayed should be clearer. As you can see there's a noticeable difference in image contrast. You can see the virtual screen as well as the stuff behind it. I think it would work even better with additional polarizer on top of the lens and brighter screen. I've ordered couple of self-adhesive polarizer for more testing. I'm still lacking a really bright screen but I'm sure I can figure something out. Right now it's all I've had to show at this time. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more. As always, huge thanks to all of my Patreons. Thanks to you I can buy more stuff to experiment.